Good evening. This is the NJCAA National Basketball Tournament Wrap-Up Show. It is semifinal night, two games with a chance to go to the national championship tomorrow evening, and it was everything we thought it would be. Hi, everybody. Rod Zuck, Glenn Grunwald. These are always some of the best basketball games of the tournament simply because there's just so much at stake. A chance to go to the national championship. Four teams, four great basketball teams, two great basketball games. Well, it really is, and we had two great ones. First off, Northwest Florida State, they look like world beaters the day before. They took on the Blue Dragons of Hutchison, and Hutchison was able to get by the day before in the quarterfinals. And... Uh, I was really worried about the basketball game, but Hutchinson came out, took a little knuckle to the chin, and then uh, uh, was able to rally back and take the lead by halftime and was able to take it away in the second half. Good win for the Dragons. Well, it, it was. Uh, one thing about this ball game that uh, we talked about is that Hutch got off to a lot better start than they had <laughs> the previous two nights. And I think, and I asked Coach Eck afterwards, did you have to tell them anything to get them going? He said, no, they knew very good and well that if they had the kind of start uh, tonight, like they had the two previous nights, it was going to be over. Trail by and, eight. And they just simply yeah. did not let that happen. They did uh, trail a little bit in this game. But all in all, it was a pretty even game. Uh, they shared the lead about an equal number of times. They The biggest lead was eight for uh Northeast or Northwest Oklahoma State or Northwest Florida State, sorry, and uh, the lead was nine for Hutch. So, exactly, uh, it was really pretty even. Yeah, the difference there really became in the second half where Hutchinson took over. They end up leading for 19 minutes of the ball game in the first half. It was flip flop. They only led for four the first 20 minutes. So it was all done in the second half. J.J. Rimes was outstanding. 20 points for him. He led the cause. And then another double-double for, for Justin is uh, Shakur Justin just playing lights out. Yeah, he was. He played lights out. He had a great ball game again. J.J. Rimes, he's very quiet on the court, not real emotional, but he really got the job done tonight. He ends up leading the way for the uh, Dragons uh, and in a big ball game that they, they just really needed to have that win. And now they're going to get a chance tonight or tomorrow night to win the national title. They got close last year. They got in that great overtime game in semifinals with Ranger. And they just kind of really ran out of gas against a really good Salt Lake team. Tonight it was another battle, but so did Eastern Florida State. We'll get to that game in just a moment. But I think, Glenn, they got to play a lot of people. Sal who had another yeah, solid Sal game Nuhu in the big. inside, so he is uh, learning to play ball. There is a couple of challenges that Hodgson will face, although, as you said so well, they did face it uh, um, last night, or tonight, rather, and that was a zone defense because Eastern Florida plays a zone defense. They get it way out beyond the arch. They trap out of it a lot, and so that makes a big, big difference uh, in the ballgame. We'll see what happens. Let's talk about the other game. It was Eastern Florida taking it away from South Plains. South Plains number one in the nation all year long. They have now lost uh, two out of their last four games, and they lost uh, tonight. They lost by the score of 77 to 65 to a, a pretty good Eastern Florida team, an Eastern Florida State team uh, that came in this tournament ready to play some ball. Well, they did, and, you know, they haven't gotten a lot of talk. They haven't got a lot of flash. One thing they do so well that I've probably been the most impressed with is their ability to get position and get rebounds. They are incredibly fundamentally sound. They have extremely quick guards. Uh, if you want to compare them, they, they are a lot like uh, Poppy Conley and Samaji Haynes-Jones from Hutchinson Community College and some of the guards we've seen with San Jacinto. Very, very quick. They handle the ball well. They've got some uh, pretty good presence inside, but I'm just really impressed with the way they rebound. The biggest thing, South Plains did not shoot the basketball very well, 27.9%, 26.5% in the first half of play. Eastern Florida a little bit better, 38.3%. The difference was a three-point lead at halftime for Eastern Florida, but they end up winning it by 12 points. So here's your semifinals. South Plains will take on Northwest Florida State tomorrow at 5 o'clock here, Central Time here in Hutchison at the Sports Arena. And for the Blue Dragons of Hutchison,
Atchison. They will go to the court at 7 o'clock and take on a very talented East Florida State team. It's going to be a, a fun night of basketball here I, in Hutchinson. I was going to ask you, what do you really think is the key for Hutchinson uh, for Playing tomorrow? Playing against that zone. They're going to have to beat a zone. We already know that a little bit, but I think they can match up inside with their bigs. Going to have to watch the outside shooters because uh, they've got some outside shooters that can really put it up. Ali's a great outside shooter from outside, so we're going to have to watch that. And for Eastern Florida State, their keys to the game. Well, J.J. Rimes, we've got to shut him down. Of course, you're going to have to shut down Juice to maybe you led don't let somebody else like Sal Nuhu or, or Samaji Haynes-Jones come up and beat you because you maybe you can take care of, of Justin inside. It's going to be a heck of a battle. Oh, I can't wait. So game time's tomorrow, 5 o'clock for the third place contest, 7 o'clock for the national championship. And Hutchinson Community College will be there for the second year in a row. Eastern Florida State trying to make their name in this tournament. They've been very quietly making their way through this, and they've looked really good doing it. And uh, we hope you will join us on NJCA television at 4.50 tomorrow afternoon. Tip-off is at 5 o'clock for the third place game. We'll follow that up with the national championship. Glenn, pleasure as always. For yeah. Glenn Grumwald, I'm Rod Zook. Good night, everybody.